Hi Stampers, today I'm going to make for you a bookmark and I'm going to be using the designer series paper called Spice Cake which is available in the mini catalogue and the papers are really quite lovely you get two of each design, front and back so I'm going to use a few of these to make up some handy little back to school bookmarks for all my teaching friends I'm going to make each of the bookmarks two and a quarter inch wide so I'm just going to put them into the cutter and measure those off and I'm going to cut hopefully about five or six of them out of the one A4 sheet of paper so I'm going to go ahead and finish those off and the pattern piece of paper I trimmed that down to seven and three quarters this way and again I'm just going to put it through into the trimmer and I did a two and a quarter bit for the plain cardstock behind so each one of these is going to be two inches wide so I'm going to go ahead and cut a set of those as well now with the leftover piece of cardstock I want to go ahead and cut one and three quarter inch strips and I'll need five of these And using nesting dies or a scallop punch, you want to cut out a few of. Now, this die here is um, two and a quarter inch scallop circle or two and a half inch thereabouts. So, you'll need one of those. So, cutting out a few of those on the other side of the pattern piece that you're using. So, we're using that side now. And you'll need one of those for each of the bookmarks. You'll also need the smaller scallop, which is say one and three quarter inch. Again, you could use the punch if you have it. And I'm going to do these at the same time because I want this inner circle to be punched out. I just want this outside piece. Right, so as when it runs through the big shot machine, I've just run through with both of the dies there at the same time. And then once they've gone through, you just take away the two pieces and then what you're left with is this outline and you've also got the center piece that you can use for something else I also went ahead and I've punched out using my one and three quarter punch um, some very vanilla circles okay we want the base to look like this so take your piece and your piece of pattern paper and using some tape, line that up and put that down on the, the base and then take your one and three quarter punched very vanilla circle and put that just at the top there and then one of your scallop framed pieces just very very carefully run a little strip of glue around that line that up and glue that down and that's how you have your your base design and then we're going to punch out an owl and make him in there in the middle All right, I've gone and punched out a whole lot of different little shapes so that I can go ahead and make the owl so I'm just going to do that with you now so we're going to start with the base shape and then we'll need to put on a little top so I'm going to do his little top in brown or his chest and then we start with his, his eyes the two larger ones go on first part of his eye and his 
to the eyeballs. It can get a little bit fiddly, but persevere. Trust me, it's worth it. Usually you can use a bit of pair of tweezers or something like that, but I'm not going to worry about that. And a little piece of pattern paper that I had for the heart that's going to go there. Keep that because that's for the other one. So there's one done. I usually paint over these with a layer of clear lacquer. The one that I quite like to use is Dimensional Magic and that just gives him a little bit of a, a clear sort of look. And here's another one I made with the other pieces of the pattern paper so you can mix and match. So now that you have the owl, zooming back out, going back to the bookmark that you put together. So he will go and sit right in the middle of that little scallop that you've made. So I'll go ahead and glue him on. Okay, like so. And then the other piece of cardstock that we had cut out for the middle, I've cut this down once more because I didn't I thought it was too close to the edge. So I'm just going to trim off one end so that it fits more comfortably. And I'm going to ink this up and then I'm going to put a sentiment inside. So I've taken my smaller piece and I'm going to um, use the essentials tool. You just start on the outside and you just blend in from the outside. And it gives the the outside a darker edge to it, but it also puts some colour a little bit further in. Then this hot is the way that Tim Holtz uses his distressed eyes. I think it just works just as well in this case for the centre of ours. So that's it there. And then I'm going to stamp using the Pacific Point. There's a little sentiment here called Live, Life, Live, Laugh, Love. I think I'll use that one just for this example. Okay, so it comes off. So inking that up. And stamping that off. There we go. Live, laugh, love. And that will get attached down the bottom of our like so and then at the top we need to hole punch and add in some ribbon and that would finish it off but there you have it just a really simple bookmark thanks for watching